and it is a beautiful day and a beautiful evening. We are finally getting to have Tiffin's for dinner, which we've never had. You know, you have to remember, as much as we love coming to the parks and going out and eating, we have a lot of kids. And some places, while I think they might, you know, they have a great kids menu here and that's wonderful. I just don't know that our kids would enjoy it enough for us to take a day out of a park day to do it. Yep. So tonight we're going to have a date night. It's just I'm Manny really and I. Excited. Yeah, this is Manny, by the way. My name is Carrie, and we're going to Tiffin's, Tiffin's tonight. Tiffin's in Animal Kingdom. I can't wait. So excited. I'm psyched. Uh, let's do this. So Tiffin's is actually located on Discovery Island. I always kind of felt like it was a little bit of an expansion of Harambe Village, but no. It's part of Discovery Island, and the reason for that is that it's centrally located here in Animal Kingdom, and to learn a bit about the theming of this restaurant, including Nomad Lounge, it's all about travel, but more importantly, and the thing that has me just so excited, is it's all about the inspiration that the Imagineers and the team found when they were out traveling in their pursuit to learn more and gain inspiration for how and what they wanted to do to build Animal Kingdom, which is really cool. Really? It reminds me a little bit of how Lamplight Lounge shows a lot of love and respect for the animators of Pixar. This restaurant is all about the culture of research and travel and inspiration that comes when people go out to learn and find the inspiration needed to create something as amazing as Animal Kingdom. It's really cool. That is awesome. They have just removed the stage from the 25th anniversary, but man, oh man, what a feat of artistry and engineering all in one amazing centerpiece. You gotta love it. As an engineer, uh, sure. you just gotta love it. Yeah. And then you look at the behind the scenes things about how it's an old oil rig and how they just convert that into what you see today. Just it's amazing. unbelievable. It's, yeah, uh, it's so cool. Incredible. So we, we have done many videos. In fact, I think we posted a recent one about you know how much we love Animal Kingdom and we're gonna do some more. But today is gonna be all about the adult side. Yeah. A little bit of some adult time at Animal Popping Kingdom. Popping in for a nice dinner at a wonderful restaurant. Never been, as we said earlier, but uh, looking forward to it. I'm so excited. So, as I was saying before, so Tiffin's, Tiffin itself is an Indian word. It means sort of like midday meal or like a lunchbox. Oh. Um, and so, that's what you're getting. By the way, if you come right into Animal Kingdom, once you pass the tree, if you go directly to your left, that's where you're going to find Tiffin's and Nomad Lounge. If you want to just try Nomad Lounge, which I highly recommend if you don't yes. have a reservation, Very hop good. over there and put your name in. It might take several hours, um, but it is so worth it, especially if you want to be able to sit someplace and kind of just take a moment yeah. right, to kind of escape the chaos of the park. But, so we're walking past Pizza, Pizza Fari, and here's Tiffin's right over here. But Tiffin's itself is all about celebrating the research and the time that the Imagineers put into and, and, and the things that they found that inspired them when they decided to create this ama amazing place called Animal Kingdom. Right. Look at that. These on the top, these are actual Tiffins, that's what they're called. So these oh, are multi- lunch boxes yeah. that stacked with different foods. Yeah, so they're, they're gonna be stacked, like almost like a bento or you know what I mean, stacked bun boxes that have the different foods in them. Those are actually Separated. called Tiffins. Those themselves are, that's what they're called. Oh. And that is where the restaurant gets its name. Right on. Which is pretty awesome. And right next door, just to show you, you've got the Nomad Lounge which is a must-do for us. I it mean, is. we love the Nomad Lounge. It's just absolutely, <laughs> these folks are taking pictures. And they share the menu items, too. There's like a few a, crossovers a of things. some appetizers. Yeah. yeah, like we've had the lobster mac and cheese here. Yeah, Super the good. Gobi Manchurian. Very rich, yeah. Um, as well as the, um, the charcuterie board. Yep. 
yeah, really, really amazing dishes that they Very have good. here that you can get over here at Nomad Lounge. They have a bunch of other things too, like um, the kids got some sliders, things of that nature. You got a wonderful poke bowl. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. Really good. Check out so. our video on that. I mean, it had I had more tuna left at the end. Yeah, which is rare. <laughs> you Usually still you're talk like, about that. what's all this rice? No, it's the tuna. It's yeah, good. that was really awesome. So our reservation is not until 6:30, but we. I, I made one of our cardinal rule mistakes again. Well, I thought the park was open until nine, talk about that. but we were supposed to. No, because I think it's important. Yesterday we were supposed to come at five thirty, but your work was it was just crunching it, it way up. too close. So I was able to get a six thirty today, but I thought the park closed at nine. At well, guess what? It closes at seven. Yeah, so it's just now six. We're going to go in. How much you want to bet they're able to see us right away? I hope so. I that bet they will not, be able to. That, that way we're not keeping them. I don't want to keep them either. So look at this beautiful artwork up here. safari gallery yeah so this is the room that's filled with in fact some of those photos that i was telling you about manny are on this wall over here so the question would be can you like tell which, which ones, ones, ones are from inside of oh i see one that i know is inside of animal kingdom but only because i know yeah, animal kingdom so well room. and the other ones are actually from different places in africa I am obsessed wow. with this power line situation. Look at this power line situation behind you. You're gonna like. Oh no. Considering that you work, that's your job is working with. I don't think the clearances are honored in there. <laughs> Manny is an engineer, a utilities engineer, by the way. Um, that is amazing. That is. Here's the thing that I think is so cool. This wall here is all architectural samples. That these are all authentic, carved and created and brought back from different parts of their travels. These were used and you can find this similar carvings. I can think of like the, the gates that go into Africa, all of these different places where are inspired. these carvings were the inspiration. So it's almost like if you go into a gallery um, that is capturing design from like a different time period or maybe even if you bought a home and you're trying to pick out you know the style that you want right. your house to be the facade or whatever yeah. it is isn't that so cool so this is what the imagineers here would have used as a sort of like inspiration like oh let's go with this let's go with that you know this is the type of thing we want to do yeah it looked like that that style of tree i forget what it is but that looks like the tree of life like a really huge base with the tiny leaves on the front and the top so amazing like, i, yeah, I can't cool. really get a good shot of it but so cool but you know what we will walk through because there actually are some sort of like um what i'm going to call totem style poles which i don't think that's what they are in the other room oh, okay. inspired the tree of life which is very cool i think there might be a little bit of an argument here so when we do these uh, dining review we really do try to not get the same dish um, uh, uh, we'll see who uh, gets what. I'll yep. we'll just leave it at that.
talking about the fish being a true Tiffin's experience, African experience. Yeah. So I think that kind of points to you got to try that. I think so. so. First, especially, I mean, here's the thing. I wouldn't try it if you're not someone who would enjoy something like that. Yeah. But you would love something like Dude, that. Dude, I would love and something like that. where else are you going to get that? Like, I swear, I go to... Uh, these random food trucks and you see signs of like a whole fish on it fried and i'm like ooh, that sounds good but i i don't get it from there <laughs> yeah just, maybe maybe get like, that from uh, it's like a trailer like on the tiffin's. side of the road so tiffin's <laughs> the place to get it yeah if you're willing to eat it from a trailer on the side of the road perhaps maybe eating it someplace nice like tiffin's would be a better choice <laughs> You know, with age comes experience. I will say I really like the scale and size of this dining room. Yeah. So we're in one of the two smaller dining rooms. Okay. But it's it's nice. It's not huge and the tables aren't like okay, for instance when we went intimate. to San and Hell, the tables yeah. were like eight inches apart from oh each other. Oh my gosh. The people next to us were like sitting at our table. Yeah, like I mean we could hear I'm like, Oh, are you gonna answer to, that text? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, so our server's wonderful. He's very awesome. very, very nice and um, very helpful. I'm very sad to say that they do not have the South African um, wine Dude, plate. I don't know what this world is coming to, I tell you. <laughs> you no, gotta rough it. There's no walking No taco, South African flight? There's no South African What is flight? happening? Why can I not win? No, I mean, it's hilarious. That's but, why we vote, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, I switched to the cab flight. I think I'm, I'm excited to do that. It's got some really great selections in there it um, does. that I'm excited to learn about, too. I haven't had a good cab, some good cabs in a long time. And it'll go well with, I ordered the surf and turf, and you went with the... Uh, the fish. Yeah, so you're excited you're going to eat yeah. the cheeks? Oh, yeah. They're like the best part. <laughs> That's the only reason you order whole fish. Is so you can get those cheeks. Yeah, it's not very good. No. Not so much. Anyway, how's that uh, Paloma? All right, it's good. It's it's. Um, I don't I don't detect too much smoke. Like like I want to taste a little bit of smoky in the mezcal. Yeah. Um, I taste a lot of. Uh, it's not the best. It's okay. not the best. So let me. Ask but it's not bad. It's not too sweet, which is good because I I really have a hard time. Yeah, trying to choke down a sweet drink it makes me miserable so this is fine it's is almost it? too fizzy like oh. too much soda like too much fizzy which i love that little pop of fizz in a good mezcal uh, paloma or any paloma but so it's not very right. mezcal forward no not at all oh okay well there you go okay you can try it if you want yeah i you I'm get doing... a hint of it but I... I'm having the Jen's tattoo, which I discovered yeah, was... last week when we were here. Um, I just like the freshness of the hibiscus. It's really nice and, and light. It's a nice little, you know, it's it, it's not a commitment. Yeah, no. You know, it's not a strong drink. Um, it's not a martini. That one's Although, all you, oh, man. Oh, I should have asked about that, man. That one's all you. Oh, my heavens. Got a bread. All right, all right. Put this right here. I love that it's like that. It doesn't take up the whole table. No. <laughs> Do all of the appetizers. Oh my. So we have a pong de queso cheese bread from Brazil on top. Comes with a guava sauce, Indian pompadom with a ginger pear chutney, and a coconut milk curry bread with the coconut milk curry sauce. This is from Thailand. And then here you have your falafel with a mint pistachio pesto, garlic raita, charred octopus, corn salsa with chorizo, and a mole negro underneath that. All right. Enjoy. Wow. I have it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're just going to turn this this way. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. This having chorizo yes. and mole, that sounds Jeez. really, really nice. I am nice. very excited about that. Let me check this out a little bit. So we did decide to go ahead and go with the duo appetizer, which worked out well for us. It worked out incredibly well. Yeah, because Manny wanted to have I would pick it. this. And you would pick that from oh, the regular percent. list. Let me just tell you, it smells unbelievable as I reach, if, as I lean over mm. into it. I don't know if it's the bread, I don't know what it is. I think it's mine. So this is the octopus with the roasted corn. It has some chorizo and mole sauce. The negro really mole good. sauce, yeah. yeah. And then I have got the falafel with the mint, a little bit of, I think it's like a hummus. We have this beautiful tree 
of amazing breads. This one down here, I think, is a... It's almost um, like a tiffin. Yeah, it, it's like a tiffin. Look at you with your little record Check it out, man. Point. So beautiful. I I'm am really picking up what you're putting down. Each thing. So these are just these lovely hot, cheese bread. super soft cheese breads. And then down here we have almost like a tortilla lavash. Is it like a pita? Like, well, no. No, it's, it's interesting. No? And then down here, oh my God. It's from Thailand. This is from, Wow, this holy moly. Is so moist, so beautiful. Ooh. And that one yes. there has the curry, the coconut it's a curry. curry. Ooh, nice. Super tender. All right, very tender. So I definitely want to build a bite, get a little bit of everything. Like this. Will you get that little bit of chili salt? Yep. All right. Mm. Wow. That is an excellent combination of flavors. It's definitely on the savory side. You kind of get the char from the octopus and it's cooked to perfection. You know, sometimes you can overcook octopus. I think a lot. And of it times. gets really chewy. It's really easy to overcook. Not that I cook it, but um, and then there's a bite, a little pop of that chorizo in there and the freshness of the corn. It's got a bright, sweet pop with the corn at the end. And then I, I think, are these pickled onions? Or no, these are. So tomatoes, those are yellow tomatoes, so it's very, very good. So I've got some pickled onions here that look really, really good. This is going to be my mint. I think this is just like a hummus. I'm not 100% sure. Our server said that this, oh, look at it, it's so soft, mm. is compared to some New York falafel, which that is a vote of love there i want to get this guy here because he's got a little bit of the mint a little bit of the i i don't know sure if it's hummus or not and a little bit of onion little carrots in there too mm. it's very good it has just the right amount of crispiness on the outside that you look for and then the inside is almost it's just a smooth, herbal, fresh, and the flavor, the inside of the falafel is very delicate, whereas the mint sauce has just this super brightness to it. I didn't pick up much of the, I'm thinking this is hummus. All right, I'm taste all right. it to see. Is it dry at all? Because sometimes falafels can be you know dry. What? You know what I mean? No, it's not, it's at, good, all, it's good not at all dry. Level of moisture? No, it's not moist. at all dry. It's moist and delicious. But the outside has that really nice crispness to it, which in order sometimes for it to have that really good crisp on the outside, the inside can get dry, and that is not a problem here. Wow. This um, creamy colored sauce that I thought was like a hummus definitely has a citrus flavor to it, so really, really nice. I'm really glad we did this appetizer, and I would recommend this appetizer if you are a family divided on uh, who wants what, because you're both going like to try each thing. But what's nice about this is we're getting just like, I, this is amazing, but I don't need three or four of these. Right. One is perfect for Yeah, me. same and thing with you, this. Yeah, so I think, I feel like that's a really good choice. I really like it. And that's, to me, that's what a good appetizer is, just a little bite of a good flavor. Because, you know, it's kind of frustrating if you ever fill up on an appetizer and then you're too full to yeah, I don't want try that, to eat I, your regular meal. But I do want an opportunity when I come to a restaurant to try the different flavors exactly. that they offer. And this is working out really, really well. This duo is a great choice. It works well.
So you got right. to try this. This is this is not. I have tried this. This is a lavash. Let me take. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to wow. say it's like quite a contrast to the other two. It's so salty it's and good. Very salty. It's very spicy. good. Yes. And zippy. Yes. And then you said the chutney's good with anything with ginger. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, it's oh, amazing. Let me try it. That might be my favorite, but I'm salty. This, and it, and it's not even. It's not like a tortilla chip. It's um, it almost melts as soon as it hits your tongue. Mm. The crisp is very different from a tortilla chip. It's so yummy. And it's not just salty. It has like some spices on it or in it. I don't even know, but it's really good. So when I tried it, the flavors just explode in your mouth with the salty like combination. Mm. So savory, so salty. It's it's excellent. This is the best one. Yeah, that's what I think. You like the curry salt then? Yeah. Yeah, is yeah that, that is, is that's amazing. That's the most prominent flavor on there. I mean, who doesn't love salt? That's why oh, I love salt. Big. But the, yeah. the texture of the chip, is, or is it a chip? What it's is it? It's dried lentils. That's what oh, it is. okay. Because yes. okay. I was saying it's not corn, because that would be harder. Yeah. Fried lentils with curry salt, so there's lots of flavor. It's so much flavor. Mm -hmm. That it was is. the most like, adventurous is. fun. Yeah. This yeah. is like, I don't even know, that came from heaven. Oh, yeah. It's a coconut <laughs> milk curry bread. It's got a nice hint of spice to it. There's some turmeric in there that really has a lot of flavor. We can get that, yeah. And it, the texture is so like, <laughs> yeah. It's so soft and moist, it's delicious. But this one's like really fun and mm -hmm. exciting. So. Yes. Good. Loving it. Yeah. You guys are loving it. Great. Thank you, Thank you very much. Go extra plate underneath. Thank you. And here's that. That red is the muhammada. You're gonna have your tomatoes, your cucumbers, there's some shallots mixed in there, garlic panko, feta. You got a lemon vinaigrette. You got everything. So you guys Beautiful. can enjoy it. Very okay. good. Thank you. Thank you. What a gorgeous salad. But come on. This is gorgeous. What a lovely like mid-meal. It's very nice. All right. Two plates he brought us to split it. I love that. So this these are excited. I want to taste a little bit. Huh? I doubt that. Uh, they oh. don't grow onions and such, but oh, really? the lettuces I do believe are. Well then what is going on? Mmm. Yeah, this sauce that's around the side, very tasty. Mild, gentle, but very tasty. All right. I'm gonna sh yeah, let's give just, it do up. you want to nibble it or do you want to do two bowls? Yeah, we can we can nibble it. Yeah, we love each other. Does it taste like Epcot? Wow, that's good. <laughs> wow. That's it's a nice fresh salad, fresh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. It's good. Good. Quality little salad. This is a lovely dining experience. It's very good. I really like this room. I gotta tell you, I completely forgot that we're inside of a park, like that we're not at like a resort. True. Right? I mean, it's so easy to forget that we're actually sitting inside of a park right now. All right, this is a Pinot Noir, like you said. All right. I think the you lighter love one. Yeah. That's a good one. It's the Hamilton Russell. <clears throat> nice, huh? Okay. That's good. All right. And then this is a chocolate. It's a spiced root blend. Ooh. It's a lighter, lighter red. Oh wow. It's not chocolate. as heavy as a uh, Cabernet. There's gonna be more flavor to it. Though. Okay. It's very dark. It's much darker than the Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give that one a try. Hmm. Uh oh. Which one? Hmm. No, I think I still like the, the <laughs> Pinot Noir. No more? Yeah. Sounds good. What I'll get it in. Like? Is it like a uh, spicier? Or? Well, it just seems a little touch heavier. Okay. Let's take a flight of full glasses. Oh heavens, yes. <laughs> Bring it on. Look at this. Okay, what do we have? We have a Zuccardi Q Cabernet Sauvignon. This is your Tokara Cabernet Sauvignon. This is going to be your Conchi Toro Cabernet Sauvignon. And what regions are they each from? This one is going to be from Africa. Okay. This one is going to be from Argentina. This one's from Chile. 
Oh, those are all very good okay, places. Yes. Please enjoy. <laughs> uh, thank you. And you picked your Pinot. I got my there. Pinot. Let it. So this is a South up. African. I know it's South African, but it is South African if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Argentinian. Yes. And then Chile. Oh my gosh. I like Argentina. I like Zinf I like Zinfandels from Argentina. Can we just talk about this white. That's so much wine, and I am it's quite a so bit. I'm like literally giddy inside at the idea of getting to taste these different wines. I might even let you have a sip. So look, so. just for comparison, that's a taste. This is a this full is a glass. Full, this is my full glass. I think yours was like 15 or 16. This flight, no. I believe it's like 20. I don't know, mine was probably more. I'm not but sure. I'm gonna get a flight of these of three Pinots <laughs> next time. A flight of Pinots. Can the I get a one. flight of the same glass of wine? All right, so I'm going to start with the, so, so they're all cabs. Yeah, this, this is the one they recommend the with African. it. African. This one is the one that's recommended yeah. to go with my dish, which is the uh, Serpenter. Mm, all right. Uh -oh. I might need to open Wait up a, a little bit. Oh, yum. Oh, my gosh. Mm, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I can. It's too amazing. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Boy. Look at my Thank scallops. You. Okay, hold and on. And then there's that on. potato bread, or that potato the thing. The poble or whatever, that's like layers and layers like they have at Flying like Fish. Like a super thin layer, and that's yeah. crazy good. Oh, and this bowl is piping hot. that and you know what I really like about it what? so far is like it's fried and they said cornmeal but it's not bread oh, it's not heavy no. bread yeah, it's, it's just very very lightly coated very like barely, lightly barely coated. almost just enough on to there. hold it together exactly and you can see in the back barely <laughs> yep but I'm excited so look at this poor guy oh hello. Like he said hello wow all right so, do you want me to try this? I, yeah, I'm excited to see you give right. this a whirl. So, you said you kind of press down on it. Okay, all right, I can feel it kind of pushing back. That is so That's the, much ooh, fish. Wow. wow, that is. Okay, okay. And you sit right along the sponge here and kind of. I'm going to let you work on that. All right. <laughs> Without an audience. So Manny is wrestling his fish over there. It looks incredible. I just had my first bite of scallop. So tender, so delicious. They're nice. They're thick. They're full size, beautiful scallops. So tender and so delicious. Very buttery, smooth. I think I'm really going to enjoy this dish. I have to show you Manny over here with this fish. All right, but look. The striped bass. So, like, here comes the... I got it out. Be careful eating that in case there's I bones know. in looks it. Like, looks like I'm missing some. All right. Well, Very nice. there it is. Beautiful. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. It's great. It's, it's, it's good. It's, it seems, well, maybe let me get the thicker part. It seems a touch dry on this end. At the tail but that's end. thinner. So. Yeah, that's very thin. All right. So here's a good bite. Let me get a little bit of so this here. there might here. be some bones in it because you, you debone it yourself. Yeah, so, you you're know, kind of debone it yourself. A... So I'm not a pro, but I followed the instructions. Did pretty well. Let's see what, let's see what this is. It looks really... Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. 
Looks good. Oh, that's your tone that you use when you're trying it's to be polite. It's not my favorite, but... Really? Yeah. Is it dry or is it a little bit dry? It's a little How dry. Could it possibly be dry? Maybe try with some rice? Yeah. I'm going to keep trying to mix it up a little bit. Find the sweet spot. Yeah. But it's not... Not what you were hoping. No. Okay, I already tried, as I said, some of the scallop. Um, I tried some of the scallop already. Absolutely delicious. Really, really good. Just barely tapping it into the um, sauce from the filet. So buttery. There's something about a scallop. When it's cooked right, you get that little bit of the grill flavor. And then when you bite into it, the butteriness of the scallop just washes over your mouth. That's when you know it's a really good scallop. It's just like smoke whoosh. I don't know how else to describe it, right? I mean, you've had really good scallops. Yeah, you get a nice little sear on it. You get the crisp, yeah. crispness of the sear shell. And then the scallop itself is just this almost buttery whoosh. That's the only whoosh. That's a, just, that's a good term, right? Buttery it's whoosh. So good. So, so good. The filet, he did bring me a steak knife. I don't think it's going to be necessary. I mean, that's my butter knife. I just was able to cut right through it. It's cooked very nicely. You got a medium rare, which you should. It's what you're looking for in, in a filet. You know, it's a medium rare, beautifully seared, beautifully cooked filet. And the sauce is truly lovely. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. But not so much that it, it kind of pulls anything away from the actual filet itself. So I like that, that the sauce complements the flavor of the filet and the sear that you're getting on it. It's not masking it, it's just complementing it. And that's what this is doing. It's also not, it's important to note, the sauce itself isn't poured over the filet. The filet is just sitting in a bed of it, which I really like because you can kind of you don't need to dip it in it any more than what's already there. Very, very good. The potatoes, of course, I mean, these are the 12-hour infamous potatoes. Um, there's a few places in the parks and on property that you can get these potatoes. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's like a heavenly bite of all gratin. I mean, they're not all gratin, but it reminds me of that. Just in that they're thin, 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 thin layers of potato, all kind of compressed and cooked together. It's not that weird cheesy sauce, but you get the gist. It's like a salt, super yummy punch. This is an excellent dish. Based on Manny's reaction to the fish, which I've heard great things about, I think I win tonight. This is very, very good. 100%. I'm not happy with mine. Oh, you're just like really not happy yeah, with it? Yeah, I don't like it. <gasps> like you don't like it. Not just it's not good. It's yeah. not like your favorite, but you like don't like it. Oh my God. Win? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And what, that is cooked to perfection. Like yeah. It's a nice sear and it's not, not overcooked. It just cooked perfect. Yeah. Not undercooked, you, overcooked, perfect. If you're someone who loves scallops and you eat scallops places, like you get excited when you hear the specialist yeah. scallops, then you know what we're talking about. Like when you can get a really good, well-cooked scallop, how exciting and wonderful it is. Now these ones, he did mention, they are large scallops. Uh -huh. He said there was about 10 per pound. You get three, three here. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's almost a third of a pound. Yeah, he did say it's like a third of a pound. I mean, they are huge. And they're good-sized scallops. Beautiful. And the filet is so lovely. Wow, and this is this is a butter knife, I'm cutting it. Yeah, I mean, you, I without know. without an issue. Yeah, I mean, here's my here's my steak knife yet to be yet to be touched. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, and it, nice... with, the, with the butter knife, it cuts like one two. Mm. It's over. You could almost just press into it, and it would cut. Mm. Nice, right? Very nice. I I really do enjoy that. I have three different Cabernet Sauvignons. I got the Flight, 
and they are gorgeous. I mean, you know, look, they're glasses of red wine, right? How can, how can that be a bad thing? The first that I have over here is the one that's actually recommended to go with the surf and turf. This is gonna be the African cab. I'll put here in, dis in the description which one this is. It's very nice. I really did enjoy this with my filet. It complemented it beautifully. It's got a nice full flavor as you would expect from a cab. What I'm finding interesting is one of these is from Africa, one is from Argentine, Argent, it's an Argentina. Argentina, yeah. It's from Argentina, and the other one is Chilean. They are very different, which is really interesting because they are all cabs, <clears throat> and you kind of get the uh, what I like about and this whole place is about exploring and exploring and places and travel and how things can be the same but be different and and enjoy that. And this is a beautiful example of that with these three cabs. I think that one is the lightest and the smoothest oh, of really? the three. Yeah, it's really nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, this Argentinian, it's so different. You've got to, Manny, you've got to try it. It's so different. I mean, it's obviously of the same vein. Great. You know what I mean? Right. Like you're, it's not like one tastes like apples and then one tastes like French fries, you know? <laughs> but like, I guess I could have used oranges as an example there, but that, you know that might saying. be good. <laughs> but it definitely has a different um, body to it. It has um, a different after. You know, you've got a different level. The finish. Yeah, the finish is definitely different. This one has a a bolder finish, whereas the African one for me was a much smoother finish. Um, but the boldness is um, a little bit closer to what I have am accustomed to when it comes to a cab. You know, you expect a cab to have that big full body and that bold finish, right? It's delicious though. So the last one is from Chile. It's a Chilean. So this one, this one's not my favorite. It doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just not my absolute favorite one. This one is very much at the very front of your mouth you get like a lot of quick and then it's gone you know um it it pulls a little bit at the sides it's really tasty but it's not it doesn't i like a little bit of a i don't know i guess it depends on the wine really but in this case compared to the other two i would say the argentinian is my favorite followed, oh, wow. yeah followed by the african and then the chilean but they're, right. they're very, very nice. And what here's the thing. It, it's irrelevant. I would get this flight every time because I like the journey and the adventure of trying and, and sort of like the, the idea of like traveling around with these three different wines. Like I'm getting that experience, which is similar to the theme of the whole restaurant, which is very, really cool. is beautiful oh i have goosebumps thank you you're so welcome absolutely i know do that people always awesome. nerd out this hard oh, <gasps> it's so beautiful a lot of people are very you know amazed with the different decor and i think our imagineers did a great job with putting they did you know the, the park together so look mm -hmm. For i sure. just love how they're showing off the things that actually inspired the imagineering yes. that happened in this park like yep. it's just oh 
All right, I'm going to do one quick loop and then I'll, I'll go. Oh, no, 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 no need to rush. You guys are more than welcome to, you know, take as many pictures. We have a whole bunch of great things over here. Too. It is so oh, wow. beautiful. Look at this. Oh, thank you so much. You're yeah, so sweet. Golly, I'm so glad I asked. Yeah, we typically don't, um, you know, when we're you don't, yeah, small, why fill a room? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You don't want to have to clean a whole dining room if you don't have to. Look at this Minosimus. Ooh. Look how beautiful. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff that you see here, you should have seen in Asia when you were out Yeah, there, you, you know, see that in the parks, right. and stuff like that. Yep. Oh, it's just incredible. These are just And that is the true family that they saw um, there. And actually this family here in this shadow box is the family that carved um, our... Um, the totem poles in the Grand Gallery. Yeah, yeah. Really? Also carved our doors. Um, Those ones that like the big Africa doors? Yep, or the ones in front of our, our Tiffin's doors. Oh, okay, yes. And then they also carved on the back of our podium, there is a map of um, yeah, the world that map. that beautiful detail um, And they map. also carved that as well. That one wow. family. Yes, oh it's just gosh. one family. Mm -hmm. So much talent. Yep. How cool. Yep. Have they gotten, do you know if they've it's gotten amazing. to come and see it all in I place? I'm not 100% sure. How fun would that um, be, right? It would be super fun, right? Um, I'm not really sure. They'd be they like have. royal guests of the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Seriously. Like, look yep. how many people love what you yep. did. And, and Joe Rody and his team found that, you know, as they were exploring, um, you know, Africa and Asia, they found that family just because they were exploring. And just came know. upon them and, and saw their work. Them. And yeah. wow, isn't that a wonderful yeah. story? Yeah. Oh, I hope they've gotten to come at some point and <laughs> yeah. see how much people love what. Oh yeah, that would be Although so Although clearly amazing. I'm sure they're highly revered in their community, but it's been kind of fun to go and be like, well, look at all these people. They're really kind of digging this. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, yeah. and then and there and those the totem poles inspired the tree. Is that right? Um, so it is about the, the same story. Yep, and actually the totem poles. Um, so do you guys remember Mickey? Um, Camp Mickey Mini. Yeah. So those totem poles were actually displayed in Camp Mickey Mini, but they were colorful. Um, so they had all oh. kinds of colors, um, and because they were so special, they obviously wanted to put Keep them somewhere them. else. So what they did was they stripped it yeah. down to the the, the natural the, color. Yeah. Right. Um, Which and is then gorgeous. that's why they, we display them in our restaurant because oh, it was so special. Oh, that's um, that. From okay. Our ah, there. okay. Yeah. Very that's good. Cool. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? There's so many different stories. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. story, yeah. Um, if you Love ever it. get a chance, you know, I know Joe Rody does a lot of like, um, if you go on like the website and stuff and you look him up, he does have such beautiful stories of his travels and, you know, what he found and things yeah. like that. Um, so their stories are so, so unique and just so, so interesting. Fascinating. He, and That's he's awesome. a great speaker too. If you ever have a chance to just really oh. listen to him speak. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, we couldn't yeah. do it, but did you see, you don't know, but he's doing like a thing. There's like an, Antarctic Adventures by Disney cruise thing happening. Oh, really? With Joe Rody on the ship doing talks and, and everything about like his career and stuff like mm -hmm. that you can huh. book. I'm like, I don't even care. I mean, like, I would love to, to go to Antarctica, but I would never leave. I would just be like in a room like, um, do you think he's going to say something else now? <laughs> do you think he might talk again? He, he, like, I, I had, I've had the pleasure of sitting in a room wow. and listening to him talk. Um, and that it must was be amazing. just like, wow, you know, it was just really amazing just to hear his stories. So. Wow. It's amazing what one person, cool. it just makes you think, wow, what one person yep. with that, yeah. how, so how does one person inspire creativity. so much? And the creativity they all have yeah. too. I mean, they just, I mean, they have such a great great mind you know it's wonderful mm -hmm. it's all right i don't want to keep you i know you, you guys are trying to close <laughs> i'm going to take pictures of these i don't yeah, want to be obnoxious sure. but oh this is so cool oh i'm so glad to see it in here there's your, your little 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 yeti friend there bear yep wow i i mean one time we need to come in here and eat enough to read everything <laughs> a, a helicopter dropped dropped us off with our <laughs> duffel bags how fun is that, right? You guys, oh my God. <coughs> Tanya or Tanya, depending oh, on how she's- that was really saying. good. I'm glad you asked. Like totally random. Manny was using the restroom and I was trying to find this trek room. 
because they, they said there was three room. rooms. Yeah, I knew there was a savanna room, or excuse me, a safari room, and there was a trek room, which was the Asian-inspired room. And then there was a grand hall. And then the grand hall, which is all about the animals. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't find it. And I asked one of the people, and they were like, I don't know. <laughs> he was he it's didn't work in there. Um, and then, well, he worked at Dis at Animal no, Kingdom, but he didn't work in inside of uh, the restaurant there. But then this woman came in who was helping someone else with something, and I just happened, I was like, do you know where? She was like, oh, come here. She takes us in there. And then she's got, like, all these stories and all this information and all this... Oh my God, those are like oh, the so moments. Awesome. Ah, that was incredible. I like live for that. Like, I just wanted to, I wanted to be like, can we buy you a drink and sit with and you just and just pick out. your brain for three and a half hours, please? Like, but then I, you know, I was clearly like, okay. I was very conscious of her time, but like, she was awesome. It was amazing to that hear cool. somebody. Just, and it was kind of nice because it was, it was in a room that wasn't open for the night because no. uh, they, there was a low reservation night or whatever. Yeah. So we were in there. We were, were not rushed. She was not rushed. She was super generous with her time. Yeah, like I was like, I'll do it because she's like, take your time. And then I felt even more like, oh, I don't, I just going to do it. And then she was like, well, let me tell you stories. Like she was the one like prompting to share more with yeah. us. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, let me get these people out of here. She wanted to hang out. But it, which she totally was to willing to hang out and tell more time, stories. Though, but we really yeah, the I was time like, I'm her. not going to keep you that any longer. Awesome. Although, oh my God, I so could have. I was so excited. Like she just, she's met Joe Rody. She's gotten to hang out with him, hear him speak. Like she was clearly a higher up manager because she was helping other cast members with something. Right. So that's why I thought she's the person to ask. Yeah. You know. Good thing you did. So, when in doubt. That was you might amazing. have a magic moment. That was kind of that a magic moment. That for me moment. was a magic. For me, that was a magic moment. Oh, that was for sure. And she corrected something about the totem poles. Yes. The story going around is that they were. Well, our waiter told us the same artist came and carved them. That's not true. Those were actually a part of Camp Mini Mickey, and they were painted in very. Colorful vibrant, and colorful. vibrant, because you know that was a kids' camp. So when they closed that down, they wanted to save those artifacts that were indeed carved by that family yeah. that we got to learn about from her um, in the Trek room, Trek gallery. And they so they basically removed all of that coloring and placed them in the grand in gallery. In the middle of the grand gallery. Yeah, and they clearly would have served as some form of inspiration but it was not the same people who carved them right um but man that i i cannot say enough about the idea of a restaurant at a theme park okay do you call this a theme park even i don't even know a world that highlights the design the research the artistry the community, the culture of design, the way that Tiffin's does. That was a treat, a true treat for that me. That was, that was. This Animal Kingdom just goes to show you it's so amazing what, uh, well, what can be done when you let creative people do what, uh, do what they do, right? You see the result of it here at Animal Kingdom. Like everything is so immersive. There's just crazy levels of detail that I, I don't think anybody will ever understand. You hear about people coming here for 25 years and then every time they come here, they see something new that's probably been there the whole time. Like, it's just so insane, so amazing. You know, you can relax and just take it all in and uh, try to find and hunt and learn more about uh, a different part of the world, different, part of, different cultures and uh, it's a great day. I always go to Animal Kingdom. We just finished up dinner. We are bright under very bright light right now. Sorry about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, what are you, Mogwai? <laughs> it's so bright. It's like, ee! Anyway, we just finished up a wonderful dinner at Tiffin's. The service, there's like eight cars in the parking lot. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> <laughs> 
open it to his chin. There's like four cars in the parking lot and Dude. people are honking their horns. It's so funny. How do you yeah? not, how do you not know where your car is? It's the only one left. Is that mine? All alone? <laughs> My silver Acura. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait, We're gonna turn a little turn bit the horn because on. Yeah. let's turn the other way. Okay. Okay, here we are. All right, ready, so, Gizmo? Go. All right, here we are. Look at the green light. Closing it out at a uh, wonderful evening at Animal Kingdom. Tiffin's had an amazing experience. Never been there. Just the artistry, the inspirational stories, oh. the theming. It's just incredible. It's just incredible. It and the really food was. was. The food was good yeah he good. struggled my fish my fish he i would never like i would not fish. get it again i did not like the fish now i think that something is important was recommended. to recommended the fish i've heard the fish is fantastic i know that they recommended it as a uniquely tiffin's experience which yeah, it was which it was however here's the here's the rub he said it was dry i tried a few bits i didn't think it was dry i think the issue is that it's just a fish that's been there's no flavor yeah there's no flavor so you're just eating white fish yeah. um so there's no butter there's no salt or there's no lime or no excuse sauce. me there's no lemon so you know you're it's just that and so that's kind of like it becomes monotonous and it's a lot of fish yeah so if you love a good subtle you, monotonous white fish, fish that is the fish for you <laughs> monotonous fish as he says i think it was cooked very nicely i thought it was very tender and, and juicy if you will if that's a word you use for fish i don't know it didn't taste dry to me it just was bland. Well, and, and you the other ate, thing, you really enjoyed those chip things, which were super flavorful. Oh, and the bread, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else was fantastic. You I love mean, my filet dish. Was yeah, awesome. The scallops. My, I'm sorry, the, the potatoes. Phone is fall. Yeah, everything was. Yeah. Where are we? We're here. My my the phone was falling off my thumb. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, you loved the potatoes. You loved my dish. The wines were fantastic. The server yeah, was good. absolutely really good service. Lovely. Logan was his name, yep. and he did a he did really a really good job. job. I felt like everything was on point. It did not feel like inside of a theme park dining. It felt like resort dining. Oh yeah, um, I, it fine was dining. really really fine good. Fine dining. Yeah, like resort fine dining anywhere. For real. I think there are two main reasons you go here if you are just here for an Animal Kingdom Park Day. One, it is quiet and it is absolutely, I mean, there were times I think we even said it, you, you forgot you were even in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. In that it was so quiet and peaceful, it felt like you were at an, a fine dining, res, a resort dining right. establishment. But it's not like Animal Kingdom's a bad place to be. No, I mean, no, but I'm real. just saying, like, if you just are somebody who needs to, like, step out of that, maybe. right? Yeah. And the other reason is, is if you are someone like myself who just cannot, you just got to take in all of that. Like, what you walk around Animal Kingdom all day and you're blown away by how incredible and transportive and just immersive that environment is. And you want to know more about what inspired this place go to Tiffin's because what oh, there's there comes four, number three there's, there's four number cars. three really how can you not find really? your car there oh wait here's one eight feet from that one why do people always do that dude that's confusing I don't know what the heck Dude, anyway, is that my car or is that my car? <laughs> is it that one or the one two spaces <laughs> down? Because there's no other cars here. Anyway, anyway, if you um, really love that, which I do, I do, I do, I could have left. I mean, if they had given me a piece of bread, I would have walked around and just <laughs> soaked it all up. That, it was that, ugh. very rich in culture, like yes, insanely rich and authentic. Well, it's the story it's of what story. inspired yeah. the people and their travels. It's their it's, it's their photos, it's their sketches, it's the artifacts that they brought back that inspired this park. Yeah, it and is it's a sketches museum of the family that did some of the carvings, uh, and there just everything, everything about it. It so was good. juicy, licious, nerd out heaven, and I am here for it. I loved it. 
I would love to go back and spend even more time, especially yeah, I normally I out. hate to be the people who are the last ones. And we weren't the last ones, by the way. There were like no, five we other thought we tables. were the last ones in the one room. And then we walk out and there's like a bunch of tables there's in like the other room. There's like a whole bunch of tables like, in the oh, other room. Okay. However, being able to walk around and look at the walls, because you don't want to do that when there's like people at tables, right? Yeah. But to be able to walk around and look and, and read kind of empty. and see, ah. Oh, yeah. Take your time without awesome. being awkward, kind of. It was great. So we loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a great night. If you enjoyed this video or more dining reviews, you're someone who likes to dine or is interested in where to go when you're here, yeah. check out our other videos. We have several up. We have more and more coming. Um, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. On the next one. See you guys around. Mwah. Bye.